That part was made with AnyCubic Tough Resin 2.0, and it's not looking that good. Let's look at it again at uh, normal speed. Let's try it again with another one. <laughs> That's not looking very good either. In this video, I'm testing AnyCubic Tough Resin 2.0 with the same tests that I've used for the original Tough Resin and the Tough Resin Ultra. I'm just dropping this hammer onto the part with its own weight like this. The hammer weighs one and a half kilos and the handle is 300 millimeters long. It's my not too scientific hammer drop test. So far, it's not looking that tough. But then again, the test is taking place in cold conditions. It's only about 11 degrees in my workshop right now and that could be making the resin more brittle. So I've taken a third print and warmed it in this AnyCubic D2 where I've got the chamber heater running. I've set the temperature to 30 degrees and left the part in there for about 30 minutes. And you can see that the part is a little bit more flexible. Let's try this again. Well, you might think that that's a little better, but if you look at the slow motion, you can see that I kind of miss with the hammer. Let's try drop test number four. Okay, so you might say, well, it's tough, but not that great for sudden impacts. Uh, fair enough. So let's give it the vice test like I did with the other resins. In this test, I've also pre-warmed the part using the same process as before. You can see that the part is showing some flexibility, but it's still feeling quite rigid at the same time. And I guess if that's what you're after, then this could be the resin for you. And now I'll gently apply pressure to the part. I was expecting the part to crack very quickly, but it's holding up to gentle or gradual pressure really well. This is a fair bit of deformation, so let's take it out of the vise and have a quick look. No obvious signs of cracking or fatigue. So let's compress it as far as the vise will go. There's the first crack, and there's the second. So what do we learn from this? Well, firstly, the resin is tough. That is, it's tougher than standard or non-toughened resin. But is it tough enough? Well, that depends entirely on your application, of course. AnyCubic says that the Tough Resin 2 has undergone a comprehensive upgrade in terms of flexural strength, and maybe that's true. And I guess that what I'm testing here really is impact resistance, because that's the resin property that I'm looking for. Now, I'm certainly not saying that this resin is better or worse than the original or the Ultra. It's just about finding the right resin for what you're doing and nothing beats testing in the actual application. But that said, I've always been very happy with AnyCubic resins, and partly because the price is kind of right, and delivery is always fast because they ship from Sydney, which is not too far from where I am, and that's very handy. If you're interested in any of the AnyCubic tough resins, then there are affiliate links in the description where you can find out more and make a purchase. And if you do use those links, it doesn't cost you any more, and it helps me test more resins so that we can all learn more about this very rapidly evolving technology. And I'd like to say a big thanks to all of you who have used those links. I really appreciate your support. If you found this test helpful, then hit the like button, leave a comment and consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.